top, a region as we had top last year. Top six, I think, is quite realistic for them. Top yep. six. If they they could even go further, if they are, let's say, playing against a maybe a fit more favorable opponent or on better shape, I think definitely all, very possible for them to go like far in the in the event. Yep. We'll see what our Game 2 draft has in store. IGV with some unusual bands. No red Dotto for you. <laughs> Naga and Tinker. So they're going to play PL, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, they didn't get these heroes last game, though, is the thing. Like, these heroes something is banned. wrong. They're not reading the team. I mean, they do play these heroes, but I don't think that they are the heroes you want to yeah. be focusing on. It's not on. their core strategy. It's like one of those tools they use from time to time, but it's not like. This is like a team that's going to just pick Tinker every yeah, game. Yeah, it's Naga le every less game. of draft problem. The last game is more of the play and game plan problem. Yeah. Well, IGV going to secure up their fourth position here at the Kunker with their first pick. Nix and Night Soccer were both banned out. You know what? Like this probably has something to do with uh, you know their results when we talk about in the previous game where IGV does really well against a fellow Chinese team. Yep, but right. they don't do well against like other place, like teams from other regions because of different play style. They don't adapt very well to that. That's what I'm feeling right now, after watching the previous game. So because... IGV is a team going to the playoffs. Really hope they get matchups versus their fellow compatriots. Yeah, I mean even what was it like the event? There was a few events that uh, I think at DAC. DAC. Team, yeah, they they were they did really badly in the group stages and our team at Faceless. Yep. We screamed them a lot, and we were both the last in our groups, and we both won our. First round matches. Yes. And they were playing against a fellow Chinese team. Yeah, we were playing against Liquid. Before that land, IGV had never like won a international land match. Um, and they only won that one against another Chinese team. It just felt like they have just continued to struggle against uh, not just Western teams, so but SEA teams, TNC, CIS teams. TNC has a uh, silence uh, bad rider opening. Uh, very similar to, you know, uh, a few games we casted yesterday. I think it was the infamous games yep. where it was what? LC. LC silence opening. This is what TNC played a lot in the qualifiers, and we saw a lot in the SEA qualifiers for yeah. TI7. Silence is silencer. pretty good against uh, Kanka, because like, Bat goes in, Kanka tries to counter initiate, but boop, global silence. Yep. The Weaver pick up right here quite early. Uh, Weaver is uh, one of the hardest uh, carries uh, to lane against as Bat Rider. Very difficult for him to kill the Weaver and quite easy for Weaver to kill the Bat Rider because you can't juke around in the lane with the Firefly because you have the, the bug on you, the Swarm. So it's very annoying for Bat to lane against Weaver. One of the hardest lanes. And you see Later on you get the Lincolns too so you're not as afraid of the yeah, initiation. TNC removing two pushing heroes. They know that Vitality likes to play that kind of uh, objective based Dota. Shadow Shaman, Death Prophet, uh, there are still replacements like Dragon Knight, Terror Blade. I mean, I, I guess not Terror Blade. If they do Terror Blade, then the Weaver uh, has to be work, like yeah. off lane or support, which is less likely for them. Yep. So probably, but you are right, there are alternatives. Probably like Pugna, Dragon Knight, these kind of heroes. Yep. Um, they those remove the those are two of the best, though. They remove the Earth Spirit. Earth Spirit pretty good against Weaver because of the silence. And TNC needs like some roving position it's, 4 hero. Yeah, it's the Tim's heroes because right now, four position 4 heroes have been banned out. He still has Ricky. Might play Ricky this game. Ricky yeah, is quite good against Weaver. Very niche pick though. Rick, uh, there's Ricky, there is <laughs> Monkey, Bounty Hunter. Mon Monkey King 4 hit. Uh, I think Bounty Hunter we've seen Bounty a Hunter's bit. okay. Bounty Hunter then you want to pair with Tinker, but Tinker is not around. I mean, it's still possible. Bounty maybe with like a Storm. Because yeah. you want to pair Bounty with like a pick-off hero, like a killing hero. A mid-killing hero. Lina, Storm, Tinker. Yep. Um, what else is there? There's still Slada. Yeah, Slada could be nice. See what they, they go for. Oh, they go for a bounty. Yeah, none of your Ricky Slada nonsense. I, I, I'm, I'm they're, on, they're on my page, Winter. I, I'm a Ricky fan gay, you know. I like Ricky. Ricky is very, very fun. But bounty. So what's Bounty going to provide them here? So he's going to give them like the vision with the track. Yeah. Um, he's going to be... Not just with the track, but with the... He's the scouting hero. Yeah, you know? they, the... they love to get Tim's on a scouting I mean, role. You, if you say scouting, then you could argue that the Ricky would be yeah. also a very good scout. But regardless, uh, they go for the Lich. We've seen so many Lich picks here working well. Safe lane Lich. In contrast of the off lane Lich we used to see a lot. Uh, right now, most of the teams, uh, the way they start are pretty similar. The Lich goes to the mid lane. Denies the range creep, then moves to the safe lane to secure the safe lane. Because like Dota nowadays, like you tend to see games where 
your safe lane gets pressure a lot because you see this kind of like, for example, a bad rider bounty coming to your safe lane to you know, mess with your lane. And then you have to Lich to just stabilize the lane and you're going to allow the position 4 to have a lot of freedom in terms of roaming the other lanes. Because your safe lane is pretty much more or less secured. Okay. So with bounty, probably good pairings uh, Le Lina, Quop, yeah, those kind of heroes. Yeah, Quop sounds quite good here actually. With Lina, Quop, um, the Distra. What other options they have? Cuckoo. I mean, you could always go back for some of those like Cuckoo PL type heroes you mentioned. They may do that. They get the Timbersaw. This is not like an immediately obvious huh. Timbersaw game when you see these three IGV heroes. It doesn't counter. Why? Any of them particular. Why, why is the team so pick here? So it's, it's pretty good against Weaver in the sense like you don't kill the Weaver, but Weaver also mm. is, doesn't kill Timber. It feels at all. like they're gonna go for like some anti mage <laughs> late game for a late game assurance because Bear Rider Timber they're gonna draw a lot of attention to them. And I think Timber is quite good against Weaver. Yeah, uh, it just kind of tickles game. you. But maybe it's just gonna be a mid Timber because I know Raven and Cuckoo they both play the hero. So well, that's where it's flexible. They pick up a hero that can go mid yeah, or safe. I, even though I say Timber's good against Weaver, but I don't think they're going to put like Kuku on like some bad right. I don't. Yeah, well, I think it's good against Weaver just like in the mid game. Like you don't have to lane them against each other. It can yeah. be good against Weaver without and laning against Lich them. Lich does not do anything to Timber. Oh, Your is... armor is useless against Timber. Your spells are not yeah. useful. But this Doom the, on uh, the other hand, LFY. Yeah, Doom on the other hand is quite Biggs. good against Timber. Yeah. Lich Doom. LFY were playing this a lot. Cloud9 even kind of picked it up once, I think, because of that. Uh, Doom is seemed to be getting some play from time to time. They still have to be very careful of a possible anti image incoming, and then they can't do anything. The heroes are not... I mean, Doom is so... Even though on paper you say, oh, I Doom the anti image, but realistically, how many times can you Doom the, the AM? Because yeah. Doom has a very uh, long wind-up before you cast the spell, and then at, at some point the AM is probably going to have like Lincoln's eggs, those kind of annoying stuff, and then make, making it very difficult for you to get the Doom on him. Oh, we'll see. Right, let's see after the, what, what they're going to go for here. They ban out the Storm, so they ban out Storm. I guess so they we're going to pick anti mage if you ban Storm. Mm, probably not. Probably not, but they don't have very good heroes against Storm, I guess, because they don't have many stuns. Like, they only have Lasso and Global Silence. They have Silence. I mean, Silence It's a long cooldown. You, yeah. Uh, you don't have, like, because uh, both of the spells are ulti, and Bad Riders, uh, Lasso, is not a long cooldown, but still ulti. It so, does. And the, the other two heroes don't have stuns. Yeah. Really feels like they do need a building kit right now. Timbersaw Bat, absolutely nothing to take objectives with on the TNC side. Yeah. They can kill heroes just fine, but Lina would have been okay. Do you feel like they need something I even more? I don't know though. I think like, they need a very big hero. Yeah, I Feels... think like the the Raven heroes, like the Sven, the Terra Blade. These are the kind of heroes I'd, yeah. I'd rather see coming out from TNC with the Timbersaw potentially playing mid. They they will know the matchup. They'll get to see what IGV pick up and get a better understanding of whether Timber can go mid or not. And then we can kind of go from there if you're your TNC. But they need to like try to understand what uh, TNC is trying to do though. Then. If you don't understand your opponents very well, then you're, it becomes really un unclear that what you're going to pick here. You know. So they're going to go for the right. push. Objective taker, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, Timber can definitely go mid but now. But Timber is going to... Uh, I, mean, I mean, he's going to he win plays, the lane, but, but DK is still fine because yeah. he got like a lot of buffs to his uh, Brief Fire in the previous... Not the previous patch, but the last few patches. So, I mean, he, he's going to have... He's still going to have his uh, farm. Uh, Timber's gonna get more farm. I think it's like 6 4, probably. Like 6 4, 65, 35. But playable for the Dragonite. Where does TNC Let's go? Let's see here? the anti mage. <laughs> I'm an anti mage fan. I'm <laughs> gonna go. Oh, I don't wanna back. What else can they go for here? So they have. Uh, Timber saw damage. I don't, physical damage against like Lich Armor DK is not necessarily the best, mm -hmm. but. Still feels like. You want something that can has has physical damage for taking buildings. Less rack. <laughs> this team is like they're gonna pick like a maybe a really ca like carry. I think yeah, a, ca a carry carry hero. Sven Terrorblade. Cuckoo's gonna play the Timber. Yeah, yeah they're gonna Sven. pick like Sven Terrorblade. Yeah, yeah, more things. Those yeah. kind of heroes. I think Sven is actually just fine this game. They want to play the same hero. Let's wait and see with the Silence Elaine. Will be a PL. Okay, we we talked about this at the very start of the draft. It kind of 
has lost yeah, because of the ban. Uh, we we said that oh they ban yeah. they ban Naga and Tinker, so they don't have any other red heroes. No, they still have PR. So it in the end it's gonna be so mid P, mid Timber Saw against DK PL Silencer safe lane. So overall lanes, I think um, TNC is gonna have two good lanes. If the if it's Lich Doom top, I think they're gonna be able to win the bot lane and the mid lane with the bounty. Yeah. So you think uh, IGV can win IG, one lane with IGV, the Lich, but that's about it. Wait, but if IGV do Lich safe lane with the Weaver and Conquer Rome. Then I think their top and mid is gonna. Uh, either way, I think they're gonna have a hard time in two of their lanes. Lich can only help one lane, and the other two lanes will be good for TNC. Yep. Five seconds. Yeah, so the, the lane where the Lich goes is the lane you think that will do well. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm trying to figure out if they can actually still swap things around to make. I mean, perhaps Weaver better. Weaver can do fine against the Batrider kind of alone, perhaps with the Kunker helping out. Like, Kunker Weaver can. Yeah, but there's gonna be a bounty there. Yeah. I think the bounty will be messing around bottom lane with the bat. Because he doesn't really need... You don't really want to go mid to kill a DK. Like, it's not that easy early on. But once Timber has levels, then it can be, pos it can be possible. But in the early stage, I think you focus... You want to focus on helping the bat. Because that is the lane where highest kill potential. So I think, yeah, he's very likely going to do that. And it really depends on how I... Is if they choose to do the Lich Doom off lane, leave the Weaver alone, Conquer roam, or they're gonna do the Lich safely. Right. Not sure what is the best for him, for them because I feel like regardless of what they do, they can only win one lane. Yep. And we'll see how things will go for the two teams. Tim's gonna go to the off lane with some wards, Lich does the same down bottom as we'll see the first couple wards coming out, they block. They get the double block on this pull camp, so I mean, you mentioned Tim's really wanting to mess with the offline with the bat. This warding setup does suggest yeah. that when you block this pull camp. <sighs> Good point, Parker. So they're leaving the medium camp so that the bat can maybe use it later. Yep. So I think overall that's very likely their game plan. Oh, Tim's spotted in the mid lane, I Let's believe. see yep. how IGV... So the Lich is set up here. Conquest, I think that it is going to be a... Door off lane, Lich plus Doom. At least, well, I mean, you mentioned he's going to deny the mid creep, so he may, w w after denying the mid creep, could go anywhere. If he does, he actually is headed slightly towards bottom, so could see that. Yeah, I think I think the Weaver is going to just be alone. Conquer will be like Conquer maybe there, me. maybe not. <laughs> you know, maybe try to pull one wave and. But he, I, I, I think he's going to focus on the other lanes more. It is a lane where, if, like you mentioned, Weaver has can threaten the bat. If you hit a torrent with the Weaver Beetles, you can actually kill that bat very easily. But bat is going safe lane, interestingly enough. It's going to be an aggro Oh, he got the bounty the rune. Yep, bat gets the bounty rune and... No, I mean the bounty stole the rune. Oh, bounty stole the rune. He got the, uh, oh, the mid one, yeah. Well, in July, July he might be in trouble. He's not choosing to use his uh, Scorch Earth. Get, that's yeah. getting Scorch Earth is yeah. a big problem here. He doesn't want to do that, but no. not the biggest deal because you have the Lich on the lane. So he's going to be able to pull. It's going to be like annoying if you are alone in the lane when you do this. But because Lich is here, then he's... So he didn't choose to eat, the, uh, deny the middle creep. He chose to use it on the bottom lane. So they're going to primarily focus on helping the Doom. Weaver's TP bottom now. They have not about these lanes. In July will TP up top, but now he's going to be in that top lane with Scorched Earth. He really wants to have Devouring pick up a neutral creep as early as possible, but... Yeah. They want the Lich to be up against the PL, I mean the Doom Lich to be up against the PL and the Weaver against the Batrider. That's and the ideal setup. The other big problem with top lane is they can't use the pull camp now. You're against an aggro lane, you often want to go for pulls, but that is not available. Very concerning, perhaps. <laughs> Tim's is still waiting for the courier. DK already has his salve though, so not really any items he's going to be bringing out until he finishes his bottle, I imagine, at this yeah, point. He's actually having a hard time here in the first few waves. Look at the CS discrepancy, and he has still more creeps than the Timber on the lane, so Timber is going to be able to pull ahead even more. Not doing too well right now. Um, well, that's Sentry Ward coming out from Super, that one not finding anything, so definitely some concerns there. Timber's is mid, spotted by this Sentry. Just going to do some harass here. Uh, top lane, Doom is also taking a, <laughs> a huge beating here in the laning phase. Not doing too well. As 
We talked about TNC winning yep. two of the lanes in the lane. And one. RGB it feels like, is going to win the Lich lane. <laughs> but even right now, it feels like that lane's going fine for Bat, so it doesn't even feel yeah, like they're they Yeah, because they were TPing around moving lanes, yeah. so... I think eventually they're going to win this lane, because you're going to like keep denying and gaining the level advantage. But uh, the other two lanes are going to be not doing so well, as I expected. Yep. Seeing that here for sure. Bounty just freed up to oh. move around, pick up Bounty Rune. Trying to kill the mid lane now. Uh, t is smoked up on his oh. silencer. Very early rotation. An unexpected one at that. Bounty is going to get his orb of Venom. Kill. He might to... be able to kill because of the uh, Bounty and the, the can... Warding Death. Bounty's just about to hit level 2. He really wants to get like one creep. They're going to start going in. Teams has got boots, so they should be able to chase oh, him He has Orb of Venom on the Timber. He is not oh. getting away. Yeah, Tim's picked up an Orb of Venom, but in the context of uh, yeah, Cuckoo having one as well. Gosh, Cuckoo has the armor venom. Just, I mean, it's really good in a melee against melee matchup. Yeah, Very well. difficult for uh, DK to play this lane. Especially Timbersaw, you want to just right click your opponent in mid because that draws the creep aggro and then you get reactive armor charges. Yeah. So it's actually the perfect item to have on a, a Timbersaw in this kind of 1v1. Oh, Tim's, Tim's the courier. Oh. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> that that would have been a total disaster for Sakata losing the chick. Sakata is. Leaving, he's not. He doesn't need the curry. He just wants to keep it there so, so Bounty doesn't. So right it. now, Super TP. Uh, I mean, move his way back to top lane. So they are choosing to secure this lane. They feel bottom. We were we were farming okay, like Whoa. 18 CS. He's PLs now down there against that uh, Weaver. So it looks yeah. like lane swaps all over the place. They don't want the PL in the Lich lane. <laughs> yeah, he wants to make sure he gets farming. He can do okay here versus the Weaver. Has the poor man shield. Has an Orb of Venom. Triple Orb of Venom team. There we go. All about that oove. Okay, so another lane swap. <laughs> Doom is fucking our DPing bot. Weave is back top, you know. <laughs> this is musical lane. Yep. Somebody needs to put the music back on so. They can... You know, the mid lane, which is not moving, that's where Cuckoo is feeling good. Oh, yeah. Just runs in Cicada. Oh, he is like having the time of his life. He's going to be level 6 fairly soon, and that's when the, the DK will be in danger of dying. Oh, he scans out the rotation coming in from the bounty and the silencer. Gosh, this lane is so bad right now for him. He can't even go up to get XP. Timber is just abusing him. Demon's just like, okay, he backs off. I've got a DD rune. Let's start taking this T1 tower. And they actually. How do you defend this T1 tower? Perhaps if Lich had like could come in with an ice. No, we have no help. There's no way. Yeah, he... this tower just it's too he's early. Die. Because of the team, because of uh, the way Timber works as a hero, he's gonna be able to abuse and block the creeps like this. Yeah. And your creeps are hitting on the tower. Oh, that was so so bad for them. A lot of damage being done to that T1 tower. They won't fully take it down just yet. I think Timber is probably just like, let me get my level six. Go away, Theban. I love you, bro, but I also need to get my levels here. So I can kill the DK. <laughs> exactly. And then come, yeah, come back when I'm level 6, is what he's saying. Then we can get the tower, get the kill. Bounty, we haven't really seen too much out of this roaming bounty hunter. Not that that's a problem. I think teams have gotten very good at just dealing with bounty hunter. It was such a top pick for such a long time. It's received a uh, lot I mean, of nerfs for his early game. You think about the lanes. It's a Weaver, Dragonite, and Doom. All three tanky here. It's not that easy for him to roam and create a pressure to kill. But I mean, overall, mid lane is still quite e possible to kill now because of the what happened in yep. the early stages. DK is very far behind now. He's just getting deep wards, stealing all the bounty runes. He'll gradually get his levels and... It just feels like track, Bounty's... you know, bro? Yeah. Track. It actually feels like Bounty's biggest impact comes with, with track, whereas in the past, it was like level levels 1 through 3. The hero was incredibly strong, but that's no longer the, the case as much. He's still pretty fast now. At level 1, as he got a buff and move speed. Yep. It's quite fast compared to the other roamers. Uh, bot lane, some action here in July, getting Gets uh, the scorched earth off slowed and... down by the silencer and the PL, oh, forcing we... the scorch earth. But Sakata is under a lot of pressure now, mid lane. He's always. Warren, in... Raven, Ooh, that was close. He's gonna salve up. Um, on the other hand, Bat Rider is also getting quite. Uh, he is same net both with the DK, still. Still okay for it's the more than the Doom too, so yeah. this is good for them. He can always farm jungle if he feels like he needs to have some catch up. I mean, like I said, against Weaver, it's a pretty difficult matchup for a bad rider. So you get what you can, don't die, and the other lanes are gonna do well, you know. So like TNC, they're winning the other two lanes. He just needs to make sure he doesn't die and he jungles and gets his levels. 
uh, you know, lean whenever he can. Team Seer definitely winning this lane stage pretty handily for the time being. Bounty will find out the Kunker rotating on in. Also sees the Lich. These deep boards really helping out early on. And this mid tier 1 tower with a siege creep. Looks like this is going to be the end of that tier 1 mid. Something Kunker is swooping on in to try and prevent. But this is just Timbersaw in a nutshell. So good at doing this. Super going to get found. As does Dogfight. The two man Chakram and Super's just straight up dead here. Nothing they can do about it. Tower dies to the oh, siege creep. Oh, they're going to try and kill the Kunker as well. Yep. It looks like they should be able to do so. Cuckoo is just so beastly here. Oh, Sakatha might be in trouble too. Yeah, he's got a TP on out. Nothing to cancel that TP. Oh, they do. Does he cancel that himself? Oh, or he, is it a he cancel it. Okay. Did not catch my eye on that oh. one by Cuckoo. Getting fairly low, he's got a lot of reactive armor. The magic oh damage is going to be enough God. to bring him down. And the return that from was, Paparazzi. That was five heroes from IGB against the tree on mm -hmm. TNC, but it was... What? Even tree? They lose. Three they lost two? the Lich, Konka, and the DK. Yeah, no, three for three. Same. Yeah, three and for three. Vitality had five I heroes. You're fine. I mean, you're going to lose lost the power. power. Anyway. They lost yeah. the power, but... Oh my god, that was still really good for TNC. It was. I mean, Paparazzi's going to be super happy with his rotation there. He got s the big kills. He got like 700 gold Oh, did he get the, the timber kill? Yeah, he got uh, timber and the silencer. So He oh, got triple okay. kill. Oh, okay. He got all three. Yeah, triple kill for Paparazzi. Okay, so then, he, then that's good for it, him. It was that's definitely good. good for Paparazzi. For the team as a whole, I think it's concerning. Yeah. Because while brought, that's going they on... They brought five heroes and they still lost the tower. Yeah, and look at these side lanes. Uh, they're being pressured. Sam H is getting this top tower down to half health. PL is starting to chip at bottom and is free farming. So uh, the side lanes, by bringing five heroes mid, the two side lanes suddenly TNC can farm a lot in. Oh, Korea. My God. Bottom lane. Solo kill from Raven onto the Lich. And yeah, we'll see if that Korea does get found. It looks like Bounty was actually caught out. Drops down a ward after getting dusted there. Tim's with a beetle on himself will be going down. Not much they can do about that one. Good pickup for IG Vitality. Oh, the Timber. Here he comes to pressure another tower. Yep. So this is their next uh, immediate objective here. They have a deep ward down, uh, thanks to Bounty. So Timber's going to feel pretty safe here. Uh, he's actually so hard to kill now. They are going to need Doom and maybe another two heroes. Doom him and two heroes. Hit, hit, hitting him down and chasing him down. God, she's so difficult to deal with now for them. Like every time they try to kill the Timber, even if they kill the Timber, the other lanes are going to be pressured a lot. Bob fights. Yeah. Getting run down by the bat here. Tried to exit back, but even that will not be enough. Meanwhile, well, bottom. Doom and Lich, their rotation spotted by Bounty. This is Tim's, in a nutshell, this series. Just always finding, scouting these heroes. Reveal himself and poke it in July. Weaver looking for the Sam H kill. That Firefly, Sam H may just go down here. Flame breaks him back a little bit. Needs to get to that shrine. Doesn't actually have a shrine to use, and that is going to be a dead bat rider, I can only imagine. Yep, one more right click will seal the deal. Yeah, but Timber got the top tower, so it's still still good for TNC. Whoa, Lich is level 4. I've never seen a level 4 Lich at 10 minutes in. No boots. Like he's yeah. struggle, like struggling a lot because he was mo he was moving a lot. Well, they tried to get the bounty. He took the rune, and they knew he was nearby, but they missed with the dust. Yep. Just and by using sacrifice, you normally see liches get an easy level six by level, this time. Level six by eight, eight minutes, I think. Seven, eight minutes. Yeah. Quite normal for him. But right now, Timber just got uh, got the tower, so he bought his hood. Good luck killing uh, him now. He is so hard to kill now. He may actually find some kills just up top. Doom. Doom's coming in. Doom. Well, Bounty saw this. He knows it's coming. Can he turn it around though? He doesn't get the hood off. He's quite tanky. Yeah, he may actually live here with the rotations from Sam Age. The silence comes out as well. There is no lasso though, and that perhaps is going to be the death of the Timbersaw. Really uh, needed that. The regen oh. is almost enough the to Doom save his life. The Doom was almost ending. Yeah, Doom is just about to end, and unfortunately he does go down there. He was baiting, but. He just couldn't quite survive his way through it. Sam H has got a lasso, needs to use it. Ooh, okay. the Gemini attack gets him despite the lasso going out. So this Weaver is actually very, very <laughs> strong now. Yeah, if, if not for the fact he had all the items he's got, it's, no, it's fairly formidable. Just with the Dragon Lance and those cheap cost-effective items, that, that Timber could have... If he survives there, it's just... Yeah, but how are they going to kill the Timber now? Doom is going to take a long... <laughs> Long cooldown. Yeah. That's the only way they can kill him. So he's gonna try and force right now. Like he's he's he was very systematic. One t one tier one at a time. Now he's moving bot to take the tier one because he knows how strong he is right now in the game. 
There's not much uh, the enemy team can do to him yep. if they don't have Doom. And the other lanes are pretty much going to be open because they're going to have to... If they want to defend this tower, they need a lot of manpower here. Which I don't see IGV being able to do now. Lich is level 5, no Doom. Kanka is level 6. They might try, actually. They might try. I'm not sure if they can kill him. Not easy. Here comes Paparazzi. Wants to go on the support. 1437 gets jumped in. Oh boy, he's going to drop fast. Timbersaw can't do anything about that. He's just sitting behind here. He's kind of isolated and alone. PL is nearby as well. Trying to set Timber Chain away. Does not get the time he's right. <laughs> Look at <this>. Cuckoo. <laughs> and he fights his way through this one with the PL's backup. He might just be able to do so. Okay. He's coming in from the Dragonite. PL needs to get out. Raven, though, does not have a doppelganger and oh, unfortunately dead. is going to go down here. And you kind of mentioned it. IGV, they can defend. They're going to need numbers, and that's exactly what they do. They bring their entire five man squad and TNC. Perhaps just overextending in a couple different positions, you know, they yeah. made it top, failing because they didn't and have the numbers and that pushed there. Also. They didn't have a ward around the, like, the shrine area, they didn't know that the enemy and the bounty wasn't here. Like, what should yeah. happen was uh, either they have a ward around the shrine area, so then they are going to understand that, oh, they're TPing in right now, we need to be very careful. Because they didn't know that they were just like still hitting the tower and they just died. Yeah. Sounds they have two now, hard. okay, they have two now. Timbersaw does get protected by the Global Silence. He's just going to run forward. I think he knows with 20 reactive charges, he is out regening <laughs> the Doom damage. That is Oop. one confi Timbers Oop. confident Timbersaw. The Chain Frost does, oh, does start bouncing around. Going between uh, two heroes, and that's uh, actually going to be uh, the death of Cuckoo. He is no longer bounce. doing the Chain Frost. Oh, bounce. Okay, oh bounce my God, he, took, he barely survived. He took like, what, four bounces there? Yeah, that, and a Doom? That and a boat. saving his life. <laughs> Luckily, Sakata was not there as well. Cuckoo now going to chase forward with all the reactive charges. He is regening up. Cuckoo is definitely one of those players who is Timber just a, boss. Tre a treasure to watch with how aggressive he plays. Yeah, that that move where he just uh, stood there and fought and he went in. Oh. Knows his limits, man. Some of the time. We yeah, saw top yeah, I know, lane. Uh, I know. We say that, but he, top lane, he saw them coming and still baited a doom and died. But yeah, he, he pushes his limits. You know, he, he tests his limits, is what I, I would say. And it, more often than not, is right. Oh, you are godlike now. Another kill on the support. Dust on teams, but he has a haze. No problemino. Mid lane, Sakata in all sorts of trouble, but okay. did not get the last off. Oh, it's on cooldown. Try and push it back with the flame break. That may be enough to get the kill. Yeah, it's it's down. Timbersaw, Cuckoo, 1800 gold. Probably see the, the Bloodstone first, I imagine. Well, yep. Probably. First, but after the hood. Actually, thinking about uh, their lineup, they don't have a very good catch against Weaver, yeah? <laughs> Only <laughs> Global Silence. Not good. Weaver has a quite a good matchup. From the enemy. like the matchup that he has right now in this game is very hard for them to catch him. So he's gonna be able to like run around in fights very freely once he gets the uh, the Lincolns if he chooses all BKB. Here come TNC. The X gonna uh, start the fight off as Samage gets pulled back in. They can't really control this Weaver. He has been silenced up. The Shuriken bouncing through all three. I've got vision of Weaver thanks to the track. And TNC now gonna try and fight underneath the global silence. They're chasing for the Kunker, but Cuckoo unable to get close enough. And now it's IGV's turn. They may look to turn around, but... Top lane, though, yeah, getting pressure. This is the split push. Raven going for this Boots of Trouble first. I love the build. It just allows him to play alone on one side of the map while his team fight. And then if he is really needed, he can TP on yeah, it. Yeah, they don't have very good uh, uh, wave clear this game for IG Vitality. They don't push out waves very quickly. So good read there by Raven. Understanding that this game he can split push quite effectively. Mid lane, Sakata gonna get caught out. Oh, yep. no, didn't get. Split pushes effectively, and then he can also come in and fight. Chain boss bouncing Ooh. around, but no one dying. July has got Doom. He's not gonna get a chance to use it though. So annoying, they're like moving around, moving them around, and they push up bottom lane. And right now they can't get a kill. You rotated like so many heroes in from IGB, but you can't get a kill, and they're, you're all tracked out. They have vision. Oh, Timber's gonna get Ella. He get doomed. But he is quite as well. tanky yeah, and he has track move speed. They're gonna need more to kill him, I believe. <laughs> he's, he's getting reactive. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh, okay, no, he's trying to deny himself. Okay. Uh, okay. Wait, I thought he would have been able to he, live, though. He yeah, had the track just, move speed if he just, just ran <laughs> normally. I felt he could have. 
Maybe he was expecting someone to TP on a shrine. Yeah. He so he didn't want to run up. Didn't have vision of the, the yeah, shrine. Cause if they any did. hero TPs in, he's just dead. Because yeah, there was no vision. Yeah, I mean, that's that's fair. That's actually fair. But what were you saying about him knowing his limits, Winter? <laughs> well... <laughs> no, he's he's a, definitely a, a fun, exciting player to watch. And we've seen him do some fantastic stuff with his TNT yeah, team. I like, I like watching players like this. Very fun. Reminds me a lot of like Sumail. Right. You know, for the most part, he's very much in control. But every now and then, he'll just do uh, some crazy the, shit. The extreme one would be QO. Nah, I don't, he's not at the QO level. <laughs> PL being chased down a little bit by this Weaver. Weaver. Oh, he might. Okay, he's fine. He, it's like he might be in trouble. The Weaver has a lot of damage. The Diffusal Blade completed there, and Paparazzi now going to go back for the Lincoln. It's not really felt threatened by the lasso. I mean, he's not even come close to dying really this game. Bottom lane, Dragonite gonna get caught by this gank as Cuckoo oh, okay. gets another kill. Track kill, big kill. Four heroes around the neighborhood. Oh, in July, your friend just died. Do not go too close. Uh, he get is away. okay. Yeah, to it's quite fast with the drums. Meanwhile, bottom still quite worrisome though. Like even though the Weaver is really strong now, but TNC is just moving around. Speed pushing with the bots on the PL and Timber. They are pushing out lanes very quickly with the Timber Barrel. All these heroes push out very quickly. And they are they just need to make sure teams tracks uh, tracks down the Doom. Like that's the Doom and the Weaver, those are the two important heroes that they need to know. Oh, where's this guy? Where's that guy? Oh, X Mark top, Sam H get caught. Go ship as well. Does go down. Yeah. Beyond Easy got kill. like is zero. Dishing out the deeps, bro. Zoning right now. Shadowblade on Sakata. Ooh. Brand new one. Does he want? He wants to go on Raven. He needs to find the real one, and he will do so as Raven retreats. The global silence used very quickly, though, just to defend the retreat. Tim's will get caught in the process. That's okay for them. The He's carry safe. was yeah. carries out. He's safe to carry. Does now have a diffusal blade completed on the courier. How this Weaver is. Big problem, big big problem right now. So they're not. What do they need to build to get kill this weaver? Drop. I don't know if there's any items really. I mean, bat. Bat, have a blink. Like, bat yeah. is like no, it's, it's not gonna be easy for bat to get him. As I think at some point you're gonna have to get a hex. So you're kind of hoping that maybe silencer gets fat. <laughs> or yeah, hex on silencer. Yeah, if you get track kills, could yeah. get one. Timber maybe could get it at some point down the road. Uh, PR maybe a abyssal. Yeah, they're gonna need these kind of items to lock yeah. him down because their lineup is not good against a uh, slippery hero like Weaver. The other hope is you can just ignore him, perhaps. If you, <laughs> I don't see that working now. He's too strong. Yeah. I mean, someone like a PL can kind of ignore him and put illusions on him and then just burn his mana. That but he can Shukuchi around. That's why yeah. it's so annoying. Yeah, because he is gonna ignore the PL. It's and you can't remove the bug with your doppelganger, so yep. you can't juke. He always knows which is the real PL. So yeah, that's gonna be very problematic for the PL until he gets a lot of items. Timber Bloodstone completed with the hood right now. But, uh, team fight wise, uh, Vitality still feels uh, very strong with the chain and the boat and plus the doom. So these are the three big spells they have. Global Silence not up yet. TNC does not feel comfortable moving out. They are hiding. They have playing very much in the dark here. Their entire jungle yeah. is black. They did see a TP. They Ooh. saw the Dragonite TP and Shadow Blade. Look at the vision. Op yeah. Sentry, Op Sentry, Op Sentry, Observer Sentry area covered. So it's yeah. going to be very difficult for the Bounty Hunter to just play around bot area. They're going to have to switch and play the other jungle. Right. I think they've recognized their mistakes from last game against the Knicks not having that constant Op Sentry detection placed on the map. So making up for it here in game number two. Raven does Snipe the top tier 2 tower. Something IGV were not intent on defending. They're looking to trade a little bit for bottom, but... Say trade, it could just be more towers going down as TNC pressure mid. I feel like IGV need to start thinking about how are we going to defend these lanes. We don't want to just yeah, be trading they're, here. They're not pushing as fast. That's the thing. Yeah, PL's even going to be chipping away at the top tier 3 tower in a second, so... Oh, they might be thinking of getting a pick off here with the Gobo. They are setting up. 
If they can create some space for the PLPLs, considering rotating towards mm, the mid lane. Drop a Watt first, maybe? Oh, yeah, I can't drop if the Watt. If can go uh -huh. in the Doom, that'd be fantastic. I mean, any of these targets could be big for them. Weaver for now, staying bottom. Trying to maximize his damage output. The top tier 3 tower Gosh, even taking a bit of they damage. They did not take the bot tier 2, and they lost their mid tier 2. And, I mean, the top was basically dead. 400 damage. Now they all TP out. They did 400 damage as well to the tier 3. That is very, very good for TNC. Vitality has to handle this split push much better. Problem for Paparazzi is once he was alone bottom, he didn't want to solo push the lane because someone like Bat can initiate on him and just I think bring him down. They need like a, they probably need like a dagger, like a dagger or shadow blade on the doom at some point. Yeah, someone he's building a BKB first though. I guess they've got I, the Shadow Blade uh, on Dragonite, he's kind of meant to be the initiator. He can Shadow Blade uh, in with the stun. It's gonna be nice to have one more. I think at some point he's gonna need it on the Doom. Like well, either one of the items. Dagger or Shadow Blade. Probably Dagger. Yeah, he has Dagger queue up. A full Silver Edge is gonna be DK's first item wanting to counter the Timber Soul's passive. Oh, it doesn't really fully counter though. If he already has the stacks then... Correct. But I, I guess you still remove his uh, overall damage, that's... Uh, I mean, that's still quite, quite okay. good. If you yeah. go in before he's got the stacks, you can make him a lot yeah, easier. But it, I'm just saying, like, it's not reliable. What no. if he already... Like, be, like usually Timber Saw players, what they do is, like, they know a big fight's coming, they go to the jungle to just charge up the reactive armor and then come to the fight. Yeah. Well, but it's only the, the 19 second duration, so they do wear off, but yeah. Here we go, TNC just playing the vision and split push game more than anything right now. The yeah. bounty tracks people up, they find where heroes are, and then they push another lane. When IGV were bottom, they push mid, yeah, they push top. They, they're trying to get a uh, Midas on the silence, so I think this is good decision. Yeah, get the support. I well. mean, I, I know I've been not too happy about, like, sometimes, uh, I mean, ga games yesterday and the day before, sometimes I see a Midas, I'm like, ah, oh, this is not a very good Midas. I remember the... Yeah. The, the, <laughs> yeah, the Death Prophet that Midas the... and the Prophet Midas, which I wasn't too sure about. But this game, I think the Silencer Midas is... Might be late, but it's is good a, for the game. Killer bottom, it looks like. Meanwhile, actually, there we go. There's the uh, the Silver Edge Winter. He and breaks him. Oh, no armor he for got you. Doom. And he gets doomed. Meanwhile, bottom lane, He's I dead. believe they are killing the Kunker, but it's the Timber Sword, the bigger kill. Yes. Will likely yet suicide? be enough Can damage. He? Oh no, no, still do. Still do. But they got a track kill no on Lich. No Lich TP's out. They got a track kill bottom, so it's still yes. quite good for them. Two hero track kill, but Paparazzi is on T Burn's oh tail. A lot of damage there. Oh, he does not want to chase. He's not diving. Yeah, he does does not have the Lincolns yet, so is afraid of the Bat Rider, I imagine. Didn't oh they didn't use Lasso, yeah. That's that's actually uh why. I'm like, why is he scared? I thought the bat was bottom. Did he la oh he didn't lasso the Kunka, that's why. It does reveal the fact there was an observer ward there, so if you've been able to, to find and mm -hmm. snipe that one. That was actually not too bad for TNC. They traded what what was it, a Doom? A Doom on the Timber. Tim timber he died, down, he yeah. respawned quickly and they got a track kill on the Kunka with two heroes around. That was actually quite okay for them. In the grand scheme of things, because Doom is a very long cooldown spell. So TNC, they were able to chip the tower. Another 400 damage on a tier 3 at top lane. Oh so yeah. That was Didn't quite good that. for them. So Vitality, they have to try and catch the PL at some point. They can't let him just play push. Yeah, feels repeat. like the PL is the bigger problem than the, the Timber at this point. Yeah, Timber already done his job. Like He was the early distraction, you know. <laughs> he forced everyone to go on him, like taking all the towers and then the PL was farming all the way. Yeah. Got his early boots of travel. That's like a very greedy build on PL. It's like getting a Midas, you know. You get that bot's first PL, you're not going to help your team. You're just split farming, pressuring the lanes. So even wants his Midas, he's... Midas is up farm. soon, right? It should be yep. up, yeah. 1900. Get them last hits. Oh, sad times. IGV has to try and... Um, try to find a way to fight now. Get the Put lanes the out, push the lanes out. You see, he already has it, right? Yeah, he yeah. just picked it up. Yeah, they should push the lanes out, try to push the lanes out and fight. They are the ones that are more desperate in getting something started now. They can't just let the game, you know, right now the game is like, oh, the lanes push over, Raven tries to hit a chip your tower a bit and they back off. Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. That's not good for IG Vitality. They have to try and take a fight. Yeah, IGV are kind of grouped here. It looked like they want to smoke, but then they're like, wait a second. Oh, double smoke. Top lane is pushing out. So Who has the vision? Who has the vision? Sam H, oh, he pops. He's going to go in on the Doom. Oh, Doom BKBs for the Global Sciences. They have they got the physical damage. Raven's trying to bring him down, but cannot do so. Needs to be careful. Oh, Doom. Doom. Yeah. That's not the way TNC wanted to start that fight. 
The Doom very quick with his BKB. The follow-up pickoff is going to be on the Timbersaw. Can they bring him down? Have they got the damage? May look to chain himself to the north, but he's being focused down. Oh, Paparazzi gosh. just tearing them apart. Great reactions for, from Injurai there. He was able to pop that BKB. Otherwise, I think he probably would have been dead after that. If he got... Didn't get the BKB off. Tinned. Goes in, there's no, no, no sentry. sentry. Oh, no, holy shit, no sentry? Oh, he throws a torrent. <laughs> That's close. <laughs> oh, oh my god. That would have been such a big disaster for IGB. <laughs> no sentry. Casually then. gets the ages. Yeah. That would have been. Yeah. It's a big, big turn of events here from IGB. Great play by them. Uh, I think. Mainly I, uh, in July, being able to react to pop that BKB. Well, I mean, once he BKBs and you've committed the lasso, yeah, at that global, point, like, and you don't kill him, you're yeah, basically you're getting out. And they didn't, they didn't get out in time as well. They got the PR got doomed, so that fight was yeah. I, I over. Think Raven in the split second decided, oh, let's try and kill him through the BKB, but then he, they realized he, they couldn't. Yeah, <laughs> realized he couldn't. If he didn't realize, if he'd come to that realization before he tried. Would have been he would have at least been able to escape. Yeah. I think they're going to lose one or two one, heroes one or there, two, but the supports will probably die. But yeah. at least they, the PL can still keep pushing the lane. Exactly, the PL just was the one who needed to just not commit there. But once he commits, he was put himself in a bad spot. Teensy actually smoke right back up. They yeah, want to no, fight while no Doom, Doom is down. They are doing this without Global though. That is, to me, a small concern. But not sure about this move though. It's quite risky. They have Aegis. They need to get some some vision yeah, down. This is quite risky. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna pan out too much. Oh, they see them now. This is dangerous. They see them now. They are under vision. This is bad. Maybe can just go charge again. He's got Aegis. Could find Raven here. Throws out the Beatles. The four staff will get him away as IGV will not find any kills. So like now say, the Doom, very dangerous. Now the Doom has Dagger BKB. Okay, this is gonna be a very strong timing for Vitality. They have everything they need for, for the fights. Weaver is building into illusion clearing items. He has the Maelstorm now. Okay, IGV is in a very, very good position in the game now. They just need to make sure lanes are pushed out so that whatever they do, whatever they, whichever fight they, they try to take, Raven's not going to be able to speed push the top tower. The top tier 3 is less than half HP. It's, yeah. They do not want the PL to be on top of that tower. That's that's where TNC really were excelling, and that's where I feel that those two smokes kind of in a row from TNC where they wanted to force a fight. It just hasn't been the game plan that's worked for them. When they've gone into IGV for these team fights, is where IGV has come out on top. So another BKB done. Uh, IGV is reaching the uh, the point where they have this five man death ball. If they can actually death ball down one lane, and it will be incredibly difficult for. Them. TNC to hold, hold them off. So right now TNC's main priority and main concern is to keep all the lanes out so that the five-man push can't arrive yep. in the door, in their front door. They need to buy as much time as they can. Seems Timber, unlikely Timber, to happen. Timber's gonna support. need like a lot of items now. He's gonna be considering maybe X or like getting a Lincoln's maybe. He's for gonna the complete the shivers now. We'll see where he goes next. Yeah, the Lincoln seems like an item they want to get. At least one off. Sam H needs to be careful. Always oh, be next. Oh, he's probably a dead. Kill. Kind of. Oh, oh, they missed the timing. He missed the perfect. timing. Perfect. I mean, Chain Sam plus. H got the perfect timing. He will get found. May be able to buy some time with the Firefly and Blink Dagger. Oh, Raven is the bigger target. He oh, he, he managed to juke them with the illusion. <laughs> good play. Good play. Oh. Good play. Oh, now he's going to go away with the real one. DK, he's got oh. another doppelganger though. He gets broken, but he gets out of there to the south. No TP for 10 seconds. He's, but he's fine now. Uh, that's Sam still H alive, Sam H! Uh, okay, he's, what happened I mean, there? He, he, they, they, it's only two supports. They can't kill him. He needed... They needed more to actually kill the bat. Problem is, bat does not have a TP. Okay, so they're just going to try and take him on alone now. <laughs> he's got another TP. No, his Link TP got cancelled. His TP got cancelled just now by Chainforce. Yeah, first. yeah, I saw that one, but uh, we'll see where it goes next. He's just gonna Firefly on out. Sam H. What a great escape from him. Too much going. I mean, a great escape from both Sam H and and Raven at the same time. That was incredible. IGV have got to be so tilted by that play. That is. Oh, that's the last thing you, oh they want to have. I mean, they were they were not even just clawing their way out of the game, they'd actually kind of gained some kind of a lead and were looking very composed, they were on the same page, they were winning fights, and then suddenly that happens. You're yeah. just going to be like, they're what not, the hell, They're man? not very good at dealing with speed push, as I see right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's an understatement, I think. 
And what looking at the there? bands as well, I think they probably understood. Remember the first two bands this game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tinker Naga. Now those bands make a lot more sense. Annoying heroes that... It's like they're not do up. doing the right things too sometimes, like their movements and whoever's pushing, like their calls in terms of like, they're not dealing with the split push well. The crazy thing is, everyone on TNC will split push. Like we saw the bat doing a bottom, Bounty Hunter is doing a top now. Whoever, whoever's there in position uh, will split push. Bounty's like whatever. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you'll get some momentum, we'll push out the wave. Oh, Tivan. Yeah. Like he may go down, they did lose the Aegis here. Oh, here comes the split push. Yep, PL actually TP's in top, he says, thanks Bounty bro. Job's done, I'll take over from here. And the TP has been forced. PL Illusions onto the tower will not do all too much damage. As Raven has to be careful. He did TP up here, so he is somewhat trapped in a sense. Does look like IPV are not going to find him or go looking for him. Too many places to hide, perhaps. I think they're going to need, like, uh, some lane, maybe Tinker Wards for this PL here at top. I think this, the, the, you know, the Tinker Ward here, I think this would be, yeah. this would Look be, at this it, would be good for them. They have these to, trees have just been all cut down for him. Oh, he's, he's been going to rat. <laughs> Still trying to rat. That Kunkka could have almost got in range for a Torrin or an X. Bottom lane, meanwhile. Okay, oh another gosh. rat. Sees the TPs, quickly blinks out of there. Okay, they have to get a gem. I think they need a gem. Gem, Tink. I mean, I think that right there. You say that you mentioned the Tinker Wards. Yeah, it's it's Tinker time for Ward that. plus gem. And yeah, Doom has to sit and try and camp one lane. It's not that easy to do because well, this is this is where Doom I feel like really does need a, a Shadow Blade as well. You mentioned it, and I'm I'm definitely all aboard that. He's but he really chose to go dagger though. I think he probably it, wouldn't. It's I mean, well. yeah, yeah. I mean, you can, but you gen in general you. Choose yeah, one you, most of the time. That's right. Mid lane, they have managed to smoke up. They should be able to get the initiation here. Timbersaw gets right, doomed dead. up. They have to run. Just make sure he. Escape the X back. They're not saving him. Just push out the other lanes. Still quite a big cooldown. We'll see whether or not they can get any damage off that. Even Theban, you uh, mentioned he plays these five positions with some wave push. The silencer being maybe not the best, but at least has some with the arcane curse. He's top. PL's bottom, they want to push out these lanes. Time to buy some like boots to travel they and stuff try and, here. Maybe they should try and cut the wave now though. This this high ground might be in danger of getting pushed. Okay. Oh, they're going to defend. Yeah, they, they understand that. Back. They have to defend this. Yeah, they see the weaver's not there as well. They may actually look to fight, potentially. Mm. Initiate in Tim. Oh, he walks into a sentry ward. He gets jumped on. The global silence comes out, but he's going to die to the right click damage. PL's on top of them, but Weaver. Oh, this is not good for them. Coming in for this one, the X into Ghost Ship. Can the PL get away from this one? Does not look like he gets stunned up, and he's going to get focused down. TNC crumbling to the five man of IGV, and you mentioned the high ground might have been in trouble before. Well, it definitely is now, with PL and Bounty both dead without buybacks. Uh, that, that was a very risky move. Even though Weaver was not there, but they only had four heroes. So, in the end, going out of their base was a very bad move. Felt confident knowing there was no doom. They probably felt like okay. IGV were incredibly you weak. You were so tanky 20 minutes ago, but... <laughs> At Silver Edge, he doesn't get that reactive armor. And we're going to see another pick off. That's a long that's, time. That's probably like... Can dead. they get... Oh no, they, they can't get two lanes, yeah. but... They're going to get they? more kills. Sam H, X. No, they're not going to go for the kill. Not have this a is bad enough, for Parker, for that. Yeah. It's really bad for TNC, but IGV have finally dealt with the speed push. Got themselves a lane of wrecks. Uh, I mean, it was also partly TNC making some uh, very risky moves there, trying to get too much done. Sometimes it happens, you know. Paparazzi still untouched this game. 12 0 and 7 now completes yeah, a Mion. Weaver is just a boss. Oh, and Roche just respawned. Very good timing on the Roche. Oh, was that a quick respawn? Yep. Uh, I'm not sure how quick it was, but I saw the. TNC can't afford to give this up though. They have Head to that way. But how can they contest? There's no Doom global. Doom is back up in 10 seconds. That'll yeah. be a small window without the Doom. They're trying to go in. The Batrider went uh, for the blink jump. Didn't get it. And Roche is already down. Aegis and Cheese picked up by Paparazzi. Now the chase is on. Oh, doesn't get the DK stun onto Raven. Guess is wrong. Sam H considering a lasso. I'm not sure that's going to be the play. Timbersaw TP's into this one. Instantly gets torrented. Ghost ship. He may just get focused down. The Chain Frost in the back line's catching oh. between Tim's and 1437. Timber is dead. In July, looking for the Doom. Didn't get it out. Time onto Raven. One for one. 
Try kill. Uh, but losing a timber. Yeah, that does not seem worth it. And losing, more importantly, the Aegis and Cheese as Weaver gonna chase down this silence and no way out for Theban. 1437 goes down and uh oh! Another kill. One by one they all fall. PL just trying to do some creep skipping. Not that's necessarily essential since there are tier 2 towers on the sidelines. They could go for tier 4s here? Not sure. It does look like oh, they, they want to end the game. Yeah, maybe can they, they can. We'll, we'll find out. They'll force some buybacks. Yeah, it feels like they know PL actually doesn't have TP. He just TP top. PL's going for the split push. PL cannot defend. They get one tier four though. I think uh, they decide that enough is enough. Lassoed on back. PL's trying to go for the split push up top. Doing some damage to the tier three tower. Does get the tier three tower now. Sam H will die for this one. IGV need to make a decision. Do we defend? What do we do? Sakata. Oh, he's trying to cancel his TP. PL gets one. TPs. Dogfights, his being cancelled it looks like, while IGV do get back to defend. Paparazzi is up there. Raven, he juked with the illusion. <laughs> he chased the wrong one. Raven, still messing with them. He's going back bottom, he's being but so But they pesky. did not get any racks though. No, he did not. At the same time, yeah, Knight, well, IGV also did not. I mean, they got a range racks, but that, that was not the, the big one to take. They also did not kill Dogfights. He was left behind and somehow is still alive. He's going to be cut off by the Timbersaw here. Oh. Global Silence comes out. It's the Doom. He can't actually use his ultimate. He got global after his BKB. He may actually go He's down dead. here. And yeah, he will not get a chance to pop the Doom. Doesn't wow. have buyback. What a huge turn of events here. Graven, what a great ballsy play from him. Kunkka actually going to buy back here. Concerned about the racks being protected or not. But Doom does not have buyback. Crazy Weaver still has Aegis. They should be able to hold. He has Aegis plus buyback. Should be able to hold here. TNC want to force it. PL actually TP's bottom, so... Not sure how much of a push this is, whereas they may just be trying to set up some split push. Oh. Who doesn't get the timber chain away? We'll get pulled back in by the X. Bot lane, right Raven is yeah. getting the Rex. It's a Ooh. distraction. Well, timber does go down. That's a pretty heavy loss here. Raven will now see the TP's come in just at tier 3 tower, but it... He's come clo close to taking two melee Raxes. That's the second one he's gone down to about half health. <laughs> I think health. eventually the Lich is going to stay at the base and just frost armor the Rax. Which is like, I want to get my level 25 talent. <laughs> <laughs> somebody somebody pull me a Midas and some tombs. I want that level 25. That's actually very, very annoying if he gets there. But I don't think he will. I don't think he will. Uh, he's if it's quite far away. <laughs> but a man can dream, you know? Yeah. man can dream. It's one of those talents that just sounds like amazing for defending your buildings. Dude, but if you're defending buildings, you're never level 25 as a lit. 35 armor, that's crazy. But it's only on buildings. It's it's such a, in my mind, it, it's such a weird, if dumb, it's a dumb talent. Because if you're defending buildings, it means you're losing. No, but then if, uh, let's think think about the other talents, uh, the other 25. If you're winning, the other 25 talent makes a lot of sense. The Scardy. Yes, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's very rarely will I feel you, you be, you'll be in a position to get the 35 armor because you're not going to get level 25 as a lich if you're defending. Ah, uh, if, if you have you're a losing. Midas. Maybe. But if you're winning, like you say, you can get that level 25. And you, you know, you, you're, you're a lich, you want to have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've, I've seen a, a level 25 lich before, except in a, a few pubs. So the last few sequence of events definitely favoring TNC. Good split. Didn't get a Rex, but they were able to get two towers. Yeah, they're only down one lane of Rex. Still a very winnable game for them. Yell's gonna head towards top with a completed Scotty, so more stats. Being fairly strong at this point in time. I feel like this is where he may want to pick up like that that late game bottle. Try and find some. Oh, bot rooms. lane. They're gonna force this. Yeah, they're gonna force the fight here. Weaver gonna TP in with the boot to travel. Global silence is there. Weaver oh, needs he to be a bit careful. Didn't get the uh, initiation on the Kunker, and Kunker looks like he will pay for this with his life. Does have the Coco's Rum. This is helping keep him alive. Four staff away. Dog fights, though. Too much damage to fight his way through. Cicada needs to be a little bit careful on the front lines. The Doom not going to come out immediately. Gets a cancel onto it as he's forced to BKB. Paparazzi will go down just once, and Injulai still unable to throw the Doom out with the BKB wearing off. He's got to be a little bit careful. Trying to focus the racks is IGV. Doom goes in, gets the ultimate, finds the PL. This is going to make this fight a whole lot easier. As Sakata will just back. TP on out. They just need and to back now. Chase. What can they get in return? In July, will not blink on out. They may lose multiple heroes here. The PL's Doom going to wear off soon. Super is going down as well. A couple of track kills, but they did get the melee rack, so 
Small win for IGV. Objective, you know? Yeah, ob objective gaming. In that, in that context, I think you've got to be feeling okay about that. Yeah, and they lost uh, two supports. Aegis was going to expire anyway, so that was fine for them. Yep. Well, let's see where they go next. Paparazzi getting close to being six slotted. Can sell his treads and upgrade. Actually, it's still a dragon lens. Still has a bit of room to grow. Butterfly perhaps oh, that's, against that's, the PL. That's still uh, he can get a uh, moonshot and a, an extra item. Maybe upgrade the get a pike, but probably just swap it out for a butterfly. Butterfly and then one more. Mm. See what that would be. Butterfly maybe MKB teammates. To get. Yeah, Does he need to get an MTV? No. Looks like Ravens couldn't execute up as his. Any evasion? No. Exactly. Yeah. Then probably not. Maybe, uh, maybe late game. I think you can get like the blood torn. Blood torn. Yeah, blood, blood torn. Late game is quite strong on this hero. TNC immediately look to push out the lane, knowing that Doom is on cooldown. They can even take a fight. They really need to find some kind of good bat rider initiation for that to be possible. And right now, bat is like, I need some alone time. My BKB is almost up. Wants to finish it off. And Paparazzi does have the MKB queued up, interestingly enough. There is not mm. any... Uh, Am I seeing invasion. something wrong? Is there there's a really? Solar Crest. Oh, there's a... Sol okay. So that's, okay, that uh, makes sense. 20%, but... That makes sense. Still good. And it's just, I mean, it's a good damage item even without the evasion piercing capabilities. At least a decent one. So Roshan is going to be up... Oh, and PLX, PL minutes. has an evasion talent winter. I did not... That's something oh yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. You're right, you're right. Yeah. I am I not a PRP player, did <laughs> not think about that. I, I was just about to say, I was like, there's 20%, I wonder if, they, if there is any. Ooh, Global Sounds, they tried oh, to Oh, they go. missed the lasso. Ooh, not good. got broken by the Lincolns. He needed to, to pop that first. I think he they miscom miscommunicated. He was kind of, I think, expecting the BH to use his track yeah. first. And then he just clicked. He like, trusts him, you know. I just trust that you get your track off. Then I'm just clicking the lasso on him. Because it's forced, he had to get to force forward to get there in time. Yeah. That's, and they use global. They oh use dear. Towers up top. They use global. This is like two, maybe high ground. Boots of travel is available on the Weaver, so he's gonna defend here. The four, is, the rest of the team is gonna push top. Cuckoo charges forward. Oh, they have to hurry. Force the lane in. Or even like creep skip top or something if you're TNT. Or oh, this is gonna be the plan here, Raven. The beetle on top of himself. The top lane push is coming. They're gonna actually TP back. IGV say. We got two towers out of that. Let's wait, Roche. You know, let's not rush yeah. things too safe much. Safe play, safe play. They're up multiple lanes of racks, or racks and a half. Um, they will have a long time to wait for the Roche resource. And they got two towers, so they do set themselves up um, to kind of starve out TNC a bit more and deal with that top lane a bit better. TV definitely showing some composure here in game number two after losing game one. Yep, much better team play and like overall decision making after the early game. Yeah, a couple moments where the split push was very annoying, but they've reacted while Tim's, whoa, uh oh, he's being spotted by the observer, what I want to say, but now he gets away. The gem is on the doom, so they do see him. Tim's, okay, there we go. Yeah, he's the Caught no, by the X. No buyback. But the lanes are pushing, so. Uh, there's a. Oh, they see Timber. There's creeps here. That's not good. Oh, that is not good. They're gonna just go straight into the high ground. They're gonna start doing some good damage on this one. There is a glyph available. They're gonna have to likely pop that. They need to push him out of the base so they can get that backdoor protection back into play. Does look like that is gonna be the case. The mid creep wave is pushing again though, so some good damage dealt to the T3 tower. It's TNC. Struggle to defend Silencer with a Maelstrom. Even just like, <laughs> I need a... I, I, <laughs> it's, it's such a classic theme in like 5 position with like farm, pushing out lanes. This is a role he loves to play. Yeah, waiting for Roche and unfortunately for IGB that was a smoke designed to get a pick and set up Roche, but Roche is gonna... Still, they did... gonna take his time. They did like, what, a thousand damage to the tower? Definitely, definitely worth it. Fishing for a pick, not gonna find it. It's just PL illusions in the mid lane, the w real one juking off to the side. And Weaver does have that MKB now, and level 25 gets that extra Shikuchi movement speed. He 
Okay, going to come back in and just finish off the tower. In goes the Timbersaw. They're actually going to try and engage off of this one. The Global Silence on the Dragon Knight. Can they actually burst him down in July? Doom, what uh, did, did he, he find? The I think he doomed an illusion. The illusion instantly disappeared. He guessed wrong, and unfortunately for him, that could spell disaster. The Timbersaw doing some big damage. Only now comes in the Ghost Ship, but they do kill Timber. Focusing the racks is Cicada Objective Gaming, he says. I don't care about what happens in this fight as long as we kill these buildings. And while TNC kind of hold their own in the actual fight, they didn't kill the DK in time to stop him taking the racks. Great play coming out from the DK. He's just gonna TP on out too. He got he got the courier on the way. Gets the courier, TP's out in front of them. I love and the decision making there from Cicada. Two supports down on me. Yep. It was, I mean, that's the thing, you're like, oh, track kills, they got some supports, there, but... And they the had to buy back the timber. Yeah. This is where it feels very desperate for TNC. Time to make some all-in plays. You're not quite at Mega Creeps, just uh, that one range rex is standing. Probably can only get the Roche, I think. Roche would be, would be their best bet here. They don't even have the best Roche lineup, though. This will be a very slow one. They have a solo crest. Mm. I mean, if they don't get the Roche, IGV is going to get it one way or the other, when they have all five heroes on the map. Sam H being chased down by paparazzi, he's gonna beat Yeah, they have to get the rush, Doesn't, I, I think this is mandatory right now. Okay. If they don't get the rush, they just lose the game. Yeah, with the solar crest and Steven's damage output adding to this one, it does look like this will be possible. It does look like IGV are not considering this, because they are drawing lines one from all they're just saying, we don't care because we're gonna Go push and take that last range racks if we need to. You're gonna die for the last range sure. racks. Sure. <laughs> Seems like a plan. We've got a BKB, so that's gonna be his. I mean, he can just BKB and hit it. That's yeah. A possibility. Why not? Actually, why not? Well, they'll take the shrines. That's gonna be the, the first little pickup. But yeah, BKB hit it if he wants. It is a 10 second BKB, so. TNC are going to be on high ground defense duty, and I think inevitably they're going to go be up against Mega Creeps. I just oh, don't death, see any way. Death Agonim's on Timbers. So. Here goes Paparazzi. He's the BKB. Oh, they gets lassoed. He BKBs after the Lincolns is broken. Can't time lapse just yet. He's going to focus it down, and that will be Mega Creeps. Can Paparazzi survive though? Time lapse on out. They get the Megas, and he survives the Chain Cross. Now going to go in. The Timbersaw does not have buyback. Yes, Aegis. Okay, he's got the Aegis. You're right. He will have that second life coming back in just a second. Tim's getting fairly low here. The Dragon Knight in the front line is doing some serious damage right now. He's got so many items as this game has progressed. He's managed to scale incredibly well. In July, BKB helping keep him alive against Raven's PL and TNC base in tatters have to find a way to win this fight convincingly and push back raven is doing all he can only finding supports for now he's gonna get x back in brought down all no buyback damage. available oh this dk takada it is again the dragon knight he'll burn down in the firefly but the game has been won what a good comeback from igv i say comeback in the sense they lost game one this was a game where they had a Pretty strong start, and they really put things together in the mid game. We just didn't really see TNC's ability to use that that global silence for their team fight. Like the bat silencer never really feel, felt like a threat this game. They didn't have good heroes against uh, the Weaver. Weaver 17-0-13. Yeah. Like, as a much show. like Timber is a bit like a brute. It's very strong in the lane. You get the right matchup, but winning the game is another story with the hero. Yeah. Still felt it was kind of possible for them but the few you know remember the few pickoffs that snowball into Roshan and high ground that was uh there were a lot of overextensions this yeah, game there was some I feel like uh, here and there I Cuckoo especially die I mean towards the end dying sure but like I think early on when he got that big advantage and then he like he baited uh, at the top jungle when they knew that doom was coming in with the weaver and he, he still dies even though he sees them coming in there was just a few too many deaths that could have been avoided yeah but then this is the kind of hero where you don't have much room for error because Timber is very, very reliant on snowballing to victory. Yep. Every death sets you back a lot, despite having such a great laning phase against Sakata on the DK. He got bullied so much. But IGB coming back strong, dealing with the speed push, handling the rats well. And towers, towers, racks, racks. We've got uh, Cloud9 versus IG coming up next winter, so we're going to quickly hop to a break. And another red game against IG. <laughs> <laughs> Which yeah. IG? IG Vitality? Or IG, the... IG. Oh, the main team. Yeah. It's, we're, we hop over to the other group. So it'll be uh, the classic IG versus another split push team.
uh, and we'll be taking a quick break and coming back with more Dota 2 action.